Hello, this is Dan Bashingbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to use a product from Video Titan called One Click Video Page for creating landing page graphics and then uploading it to your website so you can host it and then advertise that page. So I'm logged into my one click video page here and I have several templates that I can choose from. I'm just gonna create this one today. This brown background here. And all we do is give it a template, a name. I'll just call this Titan Demo. For a video, we can either input the video code or it's easy as just inputting the YouTube URL and it'll convert the code for you. So I'm just going to put in the, the URL of the video that I want to insert into the landing page. And then if I click here, it'll refresh and you can see the video right here. And then I come down here, I can put in my own headline, click on refresh notice that came in right here and then you can paste in your autoresponder code for when they enter in their email address I'm not going to do that right now so down here you can enter in code for putting in Facebook pixel tracking and that type of thing if you'd like I'm not going to do that either at this moment so this is just gonna be a quick and dirty here it looks like the template name changed after I refresh, so I'll put that in here again, and that'll be good enough. I'll just come down here, click on save and download page. And I can click here to download my zip file. Downloads right here. And then I can copy that to my computer. I'll just slide that into a folder here. I'm going to rename it because I've done this several times. so it put three versions out here. So I'm just going to rename it so it's easier to remember. I'm just gonna call it template.zip. Okay, all right. So basically I'm done with the one-click video page creator from Video Titan. That's how quick and easy that is. So now in the demo that I'm doing today, I'm going to use cPanel to upload that to my website. There's several different ways you can do that. You can upload it through your WordPress site, through cPanel, through an FTP client um, like FileZilla, but I am going to use the cPanel file manager today. So I'm already logged into my cPanel of my website. I'm gonna come over here and click on file manager. And then I wanna make sure that I'm in public HTML and I'm going to create a new folder so I'm gonna click on folder here and I'll call it Titan demo this is what the URL will be and click on create new folder so right here you can see the Titan demo folder was created and it's right here so now we want to get inside of this folder so we'll just double click on the folder and it'll tell us right here that we're in public HTML slash Titan demo. So now I want to upload that zip file. So I'll click on upload. I'll find that file on my computer and I'll drag and drop it or select it. So I'm just going to drag it over here and it's uploading and it's completed. So now I can just click on go back and you see that template.zip is located right here with inside the public HTML Titan demo. So now I want to unzip that file. So I'll select the file, click on extract, and it asks where you want to extract the data to. I want it to go to public HTML Titan demo. Click on extract files. Here it shows all the files that it extracted. Click on close. Here you see all the files. Now sometimes I've noticed that the files don't get displayed, so you might have to go up one level and then come back into the 
Titan demo to see all your files, but in this case it did display correctly. Now I can delete that template.zip file. I have no need for that file anymore, so I'll select it, click on delete, click confirm, and that's basically it. Now if I go to my site of videopizzazz.com slash Titan demo in a new tab here, I will see the capture page. Cool, it's exactly what I wanted to see. And here's the video that I inserted. Here's the text that I inserted. Everything looks good, except the privacy terms and contact links do not work yet. So let's go fix that. So I'm just gonna close this tab here. I am going to select the index.html file and click on HTML editor, click on edit. And it should bring up this WYSIWYG editor here for you. And you'll notice down at the bottom here, there's my privacy terms and contact us. So from my notepad, I'm just going to grab the URL of my policy page and then come in here. I'm going to highlight privacy. I'm going to come over here and click on the chain link here to link that. And I'll use the pull down here and I'll say link that to a URL. I'll put in the URL path to my privacy policy page. Click OK. Now I'll grab my terms of service page URL. Copy that, come in here, select the terms, click on the link. Select a URL, paste in the URL to my Terms of Service page, click OK. And the last thing is I will select my Contact Us page. Come in here, select Contact Us, click on Link, click on URL, put in the URL of our Contact Us page, click OK. And that should be it. Then just come up here and click on save. And it says successfully saved the file. Now I can close this tab here. Now if I go to my videopizzazz.com slash Titan demo in a new tab here, it still looks the same, but now if I click on privacy, it'll take me to my video pizzazz privacy page back, click on terms, goes to my terms of service page, and if I click on contact us, it goes to our contact us page. And this is very important because if you're going to use this capture page with Google ads or with Facebook ads or basically any online advertising, you need to have your privacy terms and contact us information on your capture page and working otherwise your ads probably will not get approved and you'll just be wasting your time so this is actually pretty important all right so that's it so that's how i created a videopizzazz.com slash titan demo capture page and uh, uploaded it to my website and got that running so i hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video bye for now